Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. You are worthy, Jesus. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, church. We are happy to be here this morning to bless the Lord. And we just want to pray. We just want to encourage you this morning. Hallelujah. We thank God for his life this morning. We thank God for his goodness. Wherever you are, we are happy that you are alive and well and that you can join us this morning in prayer. You can join us in worship this morning. Hallelujah. We thank God for his goodness. You know, I believe the word of God is yea and amen. There are times, maybe throughout the week, you, you were not feeling well, but the word of God is medicine to our body. So I just want to read that portion of scripture for you that as you read it you will receive complete healing because God is alive and well and he sits on his throne Isaiah chapter 53 from verse 1 to verse 5 hallelujah and it says who have believed our report and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed for he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground he have no form nor comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men. A man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteem him not. Surely he have borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. Hallelujah. Verse 5 says, but he, that same man, we turned our backs on. This same man we didn't want to see because there was no beauty in him. You know, because all the blows, all the blood was on him. We did not look on him. On him. He said, that same man, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Hallelujah. Wherever you are this morning, take the word of God. Just lift your hands and say, Lord, by your stripes I am healed. Remember, reflect this morning that he was on the cross, and he was beaten with many stripes. The thorns uh, were placed on his head. It was for us. Blood came down. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, I am healed completely. My mind, my soul, my spirit, my body is healed completely. This morning, I can raise a hallelujah because the God who is alive and well has favored me with his breath this morning, has covered me with his breath this morning. Hallelujah. I bless the Lord. I bless the Lord. I bless the Lord. I bless the Lord this morning. He's worthy. The strength of the Lord is, the, the joy of the Lord is our strength. You are may not be feeling weak, be strong this morning, but God's grace is sufficient for you. Confess that you are made strong. Confess the goodness of the Lord. Confess the joy of the Lord. Father, we bless your name. Let's just pray. Let's just cover. Let's just pray. Cover your home. Cover your vehicle with the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Those of us in this place, we declare the goodness of the Lord. We bless his holy name. We saturate this place with the presence of the Lord. We saturate this place with the presence and the glory of the Lord. As Isaiah saw the goodness of the Lord, saw the power of the Lord, how his glory filled the temple. The priest could not minister and Isaiah could not stand up in the presence of the Lord but he bowed his knees before him and he said holy, holy, holy because we serve a mighty God. He is holy church. He is powerful. He is glorious. I bless your name this morning Lord. I exalt your holy name. I thank you, oh God, that as the people of God gathered in this place, we lift our voice and we lift our hands and say, Lord, you are worthy. Lord, you are worthy. Lord, you are worthy this morning. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. I declare the goodness of the Lord because he's worthy. Thank you, Father. 
We thank you, Father, for the word of God that will be preached this morning. We thank you, Father, that as the servant of the Lord ministers, let the word of God fall, O oh God, on good grounds. Let our hearts be good ground, Father. Let the hearts of the listeners, O oh God, would be good ground, that, that the word of God would get space, Father, to grow and to expand in Jesus' name, and that it will bear fruit, Father. We release the word as it go forth, O oh God, that it will be germinated, O oh God, in the lives of believers and into this world in Jesus' name over the worship team. Father, we declare the glory of the Lord as they sing. May the angels of God so minister to them and give them complete direction, Father. The voices will be blended like angels' voices that choir from heaven. We declare, oh God, the anointing of the Lord that breaks yokes, Father. Every barrier, every mountain, Father, shall be removed in their way. And as they give themselves totally and freely, as an ambassador and a representative, oh God, as they lead the people, oh God, into your front room, that, oh God, Every heart, every hand, oh God, would be lifted in rejoicing because the King of kings and the Lord of lords, he is on his throne, Father. Everything over the musicians, Father, over the technicians, Father, over, oh God, everything, oh God, is going to be said and done in this place. Let the beauty and the glory of the Lord fill this place, Father. There would be healing. There would be deliverance. There would be peace, oh God. There would be victory through the blood of Jesus. Father, we come excited, oh God, that every unclean spirit, oh God, would be under subjection. Every moment mountain, every curse, oh God, every high thing would be brought down in Jesus' name. And we declare liberty, oh God. We declare freedom in Jesus' name. We declare freedom. Come on, church. Let's declare freedom in the atmosphere. Come on, let's just declare freedom. I am free. Yes, I am free. Hallelujah. I am free to worship the Lord. I am free to worship the Lord. I am free to worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Because I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe in Jesus. I am free to worship. My mind is free. Hallelujah. My heart is alert. Hallelujah. The word of God brings change. I shall worship the Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Let our hands be lifted before thee. Lord, we thank you. There's life in our hands. There's life in our bodies. Father, we will not be ashamed, but we will shout unto the Lord with the voice of triumph. We thank you and we praise you because we know our God is mighty and our God is excellent. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 We give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your precious name. Hallelujah. Come on, church. Let us, let us speak in the unknown. Come on, let us release to ourselves. Uh, those of us who can speak on the, in the unknown, let us do it and confound the plans of the enemy. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, just continue to worship God. Amen. Just continue to worship God in this place this morning. Father, we give you praise. We lift you up today, Father. We give you glory. We exalt your name, Father. We declare that you are God in this place this morning. We declare that you are in charge of this place this morning. We declare that you rule in this place this morning. My God, your power is in this place today. And every other power would be subdued, oh God, to your power today. Because you are the one. You are the one who reigns with authority and dominion. Oh God, we submit and surrender to you this morning. As we worship in your presence, Lord, we lift up your name, Father. We lift up your name in this place today, Father. We worship your majesty. We worship your majesty. For you are worthy of our praise. You are worthy of our worship this morning. So we lift you up, Lord. We lift you up this morning. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The Lamb of God is worthy of our praise this morning. The Lamb is worthy of our worship this morning. The Lamb is worthy of our adoration this morning. The Lamb is worthy of our reverence this morning, Father. We'll lift you up this morning in this place, Lord. We declare that you are God. We declare that you are God. We declare that you are God. And may you rule and reign in our midst this morning, Father. 
as we worship in your presence this morning. For you alone are worthy, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, he's worthy this morning. All glory belongs to our God. All glory belongs to him this morning. Hallelujah. All glory, all glory, all glory belongs to him this morning. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord this morning. Oh, we worship you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, God. For you are worthy to be praised this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Let's read the word of God from Psalms chapter 119. And we'll read from verse 49 to 64. Psalms 119 from verse 49 to 64. I read the first verse and you read the, the second verse. And we will do that until we reach 64. Amen. Hallelujah. And I, let's just read it as if we are... We, are in his, we know he is here and we are in his presence and we are, we are speaking his words back unto him this morning. Amen. So let's read together. Let's read. I read the first verse and you read the second verse. It says remember, in verse 49, remember the word unto thy servant upon which thou hast caused me to hope. Verse The proud have had me greatly in, in derision, yet have I not declined from thy law. Horror have taken hold upon me because of the wicked that forsake thy law. I have remembered thy name, O Lord, in the night, and have kept thy law. Thou art my portion, O Lord, I have said that I would keep thy words. I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. Mm. The bands of the wicked have robbed me, but I have not forgotten thy law. Hallelujah. I am a companion of all them that fear thee and of them that keep thy precepts. And verse 64, the earth, O Lord, is full of thy mercy. Teach me thy statute. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, I will, I will keep company of all them that fear thee and of them that keep thy precepts. Hallelujah. 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 Our God is worthy this morning of our praise. Our God is worthy of our worship this morning. And as we, as we read his word this morning, let that word enter our spirit and dominate our minds and our thoughts. And let the presence of Almighty God illuminate us in this place today. For we are here for service not unto ourselves, but we are here for service unto the Lord this morning. As we come together, let us just humble ourselves in His presence this morning. And let, uh, let His will be done in our mix, midst this morning in the name of Jesus let our mind be transformed into his this morning in Jesus name may the musicians come as we enter into the presence of God and this morning let this not be another day like before let it not be like last week this morning but this is a new time this is a new day and we are in a new place 
presence of the Almighty God and He is here to do something this morning, something that we have never seen and experienced before and as we allow the presence of God to have His free course in our midst this morning, He will come and He will touch us where we are weak. He will touch every feeble parts of our bodies and He will strengthen us this morning. He will come and He will fill us with His anointing and He will equip us to be that which He wants us to be this morning. So lift up your hands in His presence. Just lift up your hands in His presence this morning. Just lift up your hands in His presence this morning. Just lift up your hands and recognize His presence this morning. Just lift up your hands and recognize His presence this morning. And those of you who are viewing us online, we, uh, we welcome you this morning to our service. As we gather in the presence of God, we ask you to just join with us as we celebrate the presence of Almighty God. And may the presence of God change and transform your life this morning. Whatever you are going through, as, we, as, you, as you partake in worship with us, God will touch you. God will change you. God will deliver you. God will heal you. God will save you. God will transform your life. God will meet that need this morning. Just open yourself unto him and let him have his way this morning in your life. Because the presence of God, there is nothing like it this morning. There is nothing like the presence of God. One song says, the presence of God is heaven to me. The presence of God indeed is like heaven because where the presence of God is, is like heaven this morning. So we come into his presence this morning and we surrender. We surrender. We surrender ourselves as we voice our praise and our worship unto him this morning. Come and put your hands together and give the Lord praise as the worship team come. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord, everybody. Praise the name of the Lord. He is worthy of all the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we don't get weary in praising our God. We don't get weary in worshiping our God because He's a good God. He's a merciful God. He's a loving God. His word says His mercies are new every morning. Hallelujah. So it's because of His mercies that we can breathe today. It's because of His mercies we can lift our hands. It's because of His mercies we can raise our voices. Amen. It's because of His mercies we have health and strength in our bodies. It's because of His mercies, hallelujah, we can hear today, hallelujah. And that's a reason to bless Him, hallelujah, because of His mercies. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You're such a wonderful God, such a merciful Savior, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Put your hands together for the Lord this morning. For he's the solid rock on which we stand. Amen. A solid and firm foundation. Hallelujah. In a world filled with problems and trouble. He's our peace. Hallelujah. He's our comforter. Hallelujah. A God that we can turn to. A God that we can call on. Hallelujah. No matter what our situation. Jesus is the rock on which I stand. 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 Sing it again. Jesus is the rock on which I stand. 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 He's above, he's above, below, before, behind, all around me. He's above, below, before, behind, all around me. He's above, below, before, behind, all around me. Jesus is the rock on which I stand. 
Jesus is the rock on which I stand. Jesus is the rock on which I stand. Jesus is the rock on which I stand. Jesus is the rock on which I stand. He's above, he's above, below, before, behind, and around me. He's above, below, before, behind, and around me. He's above, below, before, behind, and around me. Jesus is the rock on which I stand. He's above. Above, below, before, behind, and around me. He's above, below, before, behind, and around me. He's above, below, before, behind, and around me. Jesus is the rock on which is a miracle working. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. My God is a wonder. He's a miracle. He's a miracle working. God. Let's sing it again. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. My God is a wonder. He's a miracle. He's a miracle working. God. He's a miracle. Miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. My God is a wonder. He's a miracle. He's a miracle working. He's a He's above, below, before, behind, and around me. He's above, below, before, behind, and around me. He's above, below, before, behind, and around me. Jesus is the rock on which I. He's above. Jesus is the rock on. He's a miracle working. Miracle working God, I know. Miracle working God. My God is a wonder. He's a miracle. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle Yes He's a miracle working God My God is a wonder He's a miracle He's a miracle working He's a miracle Hallelujah working God He's a miracle working God My God is a wonder He's a miracle He's a miracle working. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. My God is a wonder. He's a miracle. He's a miracle working. He's above. He's above, below, before, behind, and around me. He's above, below, before, behind, and around me. He's above, below, before, behind, and around me. Jesus is the rock on which I stand. He's above. He's above, below, before, behind, around me. 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 Jesus is the rock on which I stand. He's above, below, before, behind, and around me. He's above, below, before, behind, and around me. He's above, below, before, behind, and around me. Jesus is the rock on which I stand. He's a miracle. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. My God is a wonder. He's a miracle. He's a miracle working. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. My God is a wonder. He's a miracle. He's a miracle working God. One more time. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. My God is a wonder. He's a miracle. He's a miracle working God. He's above. He's above, below, before, behind, and around me. Every day. He's above, below, before, behind, and around me. He's above, below, before, behind, and around me. Proclaim.
protecting me by day, protecting me at night. He's above. He's above, below, before, behind, and around me. He's above, below, before, behind, and around me. Jesus is the rock on which I stand. Hallelujah. He's above, below, before, hallelujah, behind me, all around me. Amen. Jesus is the rock on which I stand. Glory be to his name. He's a miracle working God. He's an amazing God. Amen. Hallelujah. That we can trust in, that we can count on, and we can depend on that never disappoints. Amen. Glory be to his name. Thank you, Jesus. We give him the glory and the honor. Hallelujah. Psalms. Psalms 9 1 says, I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of the marvelous things you have done. I will be filled with joy because of you. I will sing praises to your name, O Most High. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And this morning, I just want to encourage you with a testimony this morning. You know, yesterday I went to my office in search of a critical piece of evidence that's necessary for a case. And it's, we just couldn't find it. And, but we know that we received the item in the office and we just cannot find it. And yesterday we just keep searching. We empty a whole room and we just cannot find it. But we know it went into that room. <laughs> but it, it just cannot be found. And I, there were three of us, and I was the only believer. And I'm, I am praying as we go along. You know, I prayed before we came, and I'm just believing God that we will find that item. And <laughs> it's so amazing how God just came through. And I, I will give it to you the short version, <laughs> you know, because of time. And we, we, as I said, we emptied the room, and we just couldn't find it. And we, we, uh, we were packing back because we, we gave up. And all the three of us touched that item in our search and we never recognized hmm. that that was the item. And it was there all the time. We just didn't see it. And when we were packing back the room, I'm saying, Lord, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, I'm still believing you for, for, to find that item today. And what came into my spirit, I recall I was looking at a testimony on YouTube. And the pastor was saying there was that lady that got abducted by a few gentlemen. And she said when she got abducted, the only thing that came into her spirit was just to speak in tongues. And she just started to speak in tongues. They tie her hands, they throw her in the vehicle, and she's just speaking in tongues. And she's speaking in tongues. They drive off with her, and she's just speaking in tongues. Eventually, they say, oh, she's crazy. She's crazy. Throw out of the vehicle. <laughs> she let that one crazy. <laughs> so they just take her day from and that was a testimony how God came and that was what came to my mind I say if tongues could work for her it is going to work for me today <laughs> and I started to pray in tongues in my own little silence as we packing back I'm praying in tongues and I just you know I, I all I can say the package came in my hands <laughs> and I just decided to open that package that already passed through my hands when it came out I'm opening it again and I'm saying but hold on wait but that's not the item we're looking for. I know, but it has the wrong number on it. But that is the item. In my mind, I just say, thank, thank you, Jesus. Lord. Thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus, in my mind. Thank you, and Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And they accuse now. <laughs> one of the funny things that one of my staff members, they know I'm a Christian, and they, they just said, and I would just use a false name. They just say, John, you're strong, but Leroy is stronger. <laughs> So I say not Leroy that's strong. He's my, my God, God that's strong. God. Amen. And if God can do it for Hallelujah. me, he can do it for any one of us. Thank Amen. Lord. For we are all his children. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's the reason that we have to Thank praise him Jesus. every day. For his word says his mercies are new every morning. And we have a reason and we every day we experience his mercies. Amen. From the rising of the sun unto the going down, our same, our God is worthy to be praised. For he proves himself time and time and time again. So, Father, we honor you this morning and we bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. From the rising.
rising of the sun to winds going down your faithfulness is sure your mercy is ever new let's just tell him this morning from the rising of the sun to winds going down your faithfulness is sure your mercy is ever new from the rising of the sun from the rising of the sun yes lord hallelujah your faithfulness is sure thank you for your faithfulness upon us god let's sing it one more time from the rising of the sun you've done for me that's why i praise you the way i do every one of us have a reason no one knows like i know what you've done for me that's why i praise you the way i do nobody Tell us of this morning. Your love amazes me. Your grace has lifted me. Your favor surrounds us, God. Your favor surrounds me like a shield. Thank you for your favor. Your love amazes me. Your grace has lifted me. One more time, say your favor. Your favor surrounds me like a sheep thank you God your love amazes me your grace has lifted me no one knows no one knows like I know only you know what he has done for you
not praise Him the way I do. So that's why, that's why I sing to You, Lord. That's why I dance in Your presence. That's why. I to us God even when we fail you remain faithful hallelujah we thank you Jesus for your goodness to others that we do not deserve hallelujah but because of the blood of Jesus hallelujah whose righteousness has been placed upon us father you look at us with mercy you look at us with grace oh God and we give you thanks this morning and we say we love you we say we adore you. We say we worship you today, Father. We bless your name. We honor your name. We magnify your name. And we give you the highest praise today, Lord. But we are grateful, 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 Jesus. So grateful for your goodness so grateful for your love upon us and we bless you this morning we tell you lord we love you just tell him i love you lord i love you lord i love you lord i love you lord i love you my father i love you my savior my king my lord i love you holy spirit I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me all my days. I've been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Let's sing that verse again. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord, for your mercy. For your mercy never fails me. All my days I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up. Every 
thee until I lay my head. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God all my life. your voice you have led me through the fire in darkest nights you are close like no other I know you as a father I know you as a friend and I have lived in the good that never fails. With every breath that I am able, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Your goodness is... Your goodness is running out. It's running out to me, hallelujah. Your goodness is running out, it's running out to me. Your goodness, Your goodness is running out to me. It's running out to me. Your goodness, Your goodness is running out, it's running out to me. Your goodness is running out, it's running out to me. Thank you, hallelujah, for crowning us with your glory. Thank you, God. It's running out. It's running out to me. Hallelujah. It's running out to me. With my life laid down, I surrender now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running out, it's running out to me. Oh, hallelujah. For all my life you have been faithful. Just take a moment and think of your life from the beginning to where it is now. And think of the goodness of God all through these years. Every breath that I am able, 
Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. All my life, sing. And all my life, you have been faithful. Thank you for your faithfulness, God. And all my life, you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. One more time, all my life, you have. And all my life, you have been All my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able Oh, I will see of the goodness of God I will see of the goodness of God Yes, I will. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Yes, Father, we will sing of your goodness. Oh, I will sing. We'll lift up your name. We'll make a boast of you on all that you do oh, in our lives. Of the goodness of God. We'll sing of your goodness. We give you the glory and we give you the honor this morning. For you're a good and you're a merciful God. And we bless your name today. We honor that name today. We give glory, we give praise to your name today, Lord. Hallelujah. For what would we do without your presence? What would we do without your goodness? What would we do without your mercy? What would we do? Hallelujah. For we need your grace every day. We need your mercy every day. We need your goodness every day, Lord. For there is none that can compare to our God. There is none more powerful, none more loving, none more merciful. Hallelujah. None more glorious than the God that we serve. Hallelujah. So we pray tribute to you today, Father, and we honor you. We say, Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? There is none. Matchless love and beauty, endless worth. Hallelujah. For nothing in this world can satisfy Cause Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry Let's sing it again Who is like you? Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Oh, matchless beauty Matchless love and beauty and this world Father, for nothing in this world can satisfy. Nothing in not this houses, world can not land, satisfy. not cars, nothing. Cause Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry. Your presence, your presence is heaven to me. In my weakness, you in my weakness, you are merciful, redeemer of my past and present wrong, redeemer of my past and present wrong, holder of my future, holder of my future. Let's 
sing it again. Treasure of my heart. Treasure of my heart and of my soul. In my weakness, you are merciful. For his word says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. All his righteousness and all things shall be added unto you. So ask him for more presence. Ask him for more of his spirit. Ask him for more of his power today. In the name of Jesus. Your presence is heaven to me. We give you glory. We give you honor, Lord. Oh, All my days on earth I will await Hallelujah The moment that I see you face to face But you sing no 
nothing in this world cause nothing in this world can satisfy cause Jesus you're the cup that won't run dry Jesus Jesus you're the cup that won't run dry Jesus you're the cup hallelujah cause Jesus you're the cup that won't run satisfy nothing in this world can satisfy like you nothing in this world can satisfy like you satisfy our soul oh glory be to your name satisfy our soul with more of you satisfy our soul with more of you God oh hallelujah We'll search this world over and over and over again And we'll never find anything Hallelujah that can satisfy like you We'll never find anyone that can satisfy like you Lord Because it's your presence For your word says in your presence There is fullness of joy Hallelujah your right hand there are pleasures forevermore hallelujah 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 glory be to God hallelujah and mine hallelujah has not comprehended eyes have not seen hallelujah neither has it entered into the heart of man what you have prepared for those that love you so I await glory be to God a moment and I'll see you face to face hallelujah glory hallelujah be unto your name I bless your name, I bless your name, I bless your name. Father, I thank you and I praise you for your presence this morning, Lord. Your presence in our hearts, your presence in our minds, your presence in this place. We give you thanks for your presence today. In Jesus' name, Father, be glorified. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, just keep on worshiping Him this morning. His presence is heaven to us this morning. Where His presence is, is like heaven. And if His presence is in this place this morning, this is like heaven. The next place to where you are right now is in actual heaven. As his presence is in this place, his presence is here to change us, to heal us, to restore us, to transform all lives. His presence is here to bring deliverance and to bring restoration. His presence. 
in his presence what you need you can grab it this morning what you need you can grab it in his presence you can lay hold on what you need this morning because his presence this morning is like heaven come on just worship him this morning we worship you Lord. we worship you Lord. we worship you Lord. we worship you Lord. we worship you in this place this morning no place like your presence and anything that is contrary to his will will flee from his presence anything that will oppose his will his plan and his purpose will flee from his presence everything that stand object to what he is saying and doing must flee from his presence because the power that is in his presence no other power can withstand it this morning so as we enter in his presence joyful heart and return unto the Lord from what he has blessed you for. Treasure of my heart and of my soul In my weakness you are merciful Redeemer of my past and present wrong Father, which art in heaven. 
that there will not be enough room to receive it. And this morning, we are so thankful, we are so grateful that we, O oh God, could bring, O oh God, our tithes and our offerings into the star house, where we know, O oh God, that you will meet every need, where we know, Father, that you will touch every life, where we know, God, that you will minister to individuals, especially the needy, the needy among us, Lord. We thank you this morning. We bless you, Holy God. We we hallowed your name this day, Father, knowing that you are God and there is no one like you. And this morning we want to say thank you. We want to be so thankful, Father, for what you are doing and what you have done and what you will continue to do in our lives, in our church, in our families, Lord, in our community. We give you thanks and we give you praise for breaking through, Father, for letting this, oh God, the givings of your people be a blessing to the church and to the community in the name of Jesus. We give you thanks and we give you praise, Father, for doing great things in our midst today. In Jesus' name and the people of God say together, Amen and Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Your blessing, your presence, your presence is heaven to me. Is heaven to me. You cannot get into his presence and remain the same. Anytime you access his presence, something must happen to you. Amen. Amen. Be, it could be spiritually, it can be physically, but anytime we access and we find ourselves in his presence, where he is, something must happen to us. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, worship team. Put, put your hands together for the worship team. Hallelujah. Great is the Lord. Amen. You may be seated. Praise the Lord. Here is our announcement for the week. We have on Tuesday night outdoor prayer meeting at 7.30 and that will be taking place down at Cowtown. So on Tuesday night at 7.30, all of us are going down to Cowtown to pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us invite someone and come. Let us pray together and attack the kingdom of darkness. Don't forget, when we pray, things happen. When God's people gather and they pray, God respond. God respond. Things happen when we call upon our Father. Hallelujah. And on Thursday night, we have our usual Bible study at 7.30. And that is online. So please log in and let's study the Bible together. Amen. 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 Every leader and ministry personnel again are reminded to make every effort to attend our weekly services. Come and receive your blessing. It's better you there than someone tell you what happened, what took place. When you're there, you will get your portion right away. You will get your share. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. When we come in the presence of God, things happen. When we pray and call upon God, 
things happen. When we study his word, we get enlightened, we get educated, information, things that will change us and make us better people, better Christian in our community, more educated, able to face the world. Amen? Hallelujah. That is what Bible study is all about. We gain knowledge and instruction. Hallelujah. Amen. We had our business meeting last Sunday night, which was a success. I wasn't there in person, but I was logged in. So I, I saw most of the proceedings. <laughs> I want to say to all of you who believe that I should be part of the board and you voted in the affirmative, I say thank you. Thank you. I also say thank you to Pastor and the rest of the board for having confidence in me. And I pledge with the help of God to do what is required of me to enhance this ministry and to forward the work of God here on earth. So help me God. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what we are, we are all called for, to work in the kingdom of God. God did not call us to sit down and just enjoy. But as we enjoy, whatever little we can give, we must be willing to give it out. Amen. And thank God we have people in our midst that are able, that are willing to push us and help us realize our calling in God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Stand to your feet as we do our declaration of faith this morning. Amen. And let's do it from the depths of our heart by faith. Amen. One, two. By faith, we declare that revival is coming this way. A new wind is blowing, bringing life to every dead thing. The unrighteous will be saved. God's spirit will move in the land. This whole land shall be filled with the knowledge of the Lord. And in the midst of the years, the Lord will revive his work. We believe and confess that the hold of evil forces on people is being broken. And they are being delivered from the power of evil. Men and women will yield more to the spirit of the Lord. The church will come alive from spiritual deadness to a glorious church full of his presence. I believe and confess that Wharton Waven is a fruitful place. Our church is experiencing supernatural harvest. The ground is softened up for the seed of the word of God. Every seed we sow will bring forth fruit. Men and women will come to the knowledge of the Lord. The fallow ground will break up to new life and new growth will spring forth. The harvest will be plenteous. The hearts of men will be turned to the Lord. What and waven will be filled with the knowledge of God and what and waven shall be saved in Jesus' name because we confess it, we declare it, we believe it, it shall happen in Jesus' name. So now put your hands together and welcome our pastor. Brian Jeffrey Xavier as he come to minister the word of God this morning. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Brother Michael. Thank you, church. Hallelujah. God is good. God is awesome. Are you so tired already for the morning? So why are so many of you sitting already? Those of you standing, you may be seated. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory to God in the highest. 
Glory to God on the earth. Our God reigns. Let the earth rejoice. Righteousness and truth are the foundations of our ground. We bless God. We worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This morning I want to thank those of you who took the time out on Thursday night was. Is it Thursday night? When was a business meeting? Sunday night. Sunday night. Wow. What was Thursday night? Yuff. Ah. It was Sunday night who took that time out to come to a business meeting in the church. And those of you who could not have made it and let me know that you could not have made it, thank you. And those of you who could not have made it and did not say anything, I can't say thank you because it's not right to do that. But, um, and I, I said it because I want you to be aware of it, that um, whenever we do church business meeting, every individual, every member is important. Every member is, when you're not there, you're being missed. And you should make an effort to be there. And if you can't make an effort, if you can't be there because of reasons that really prevent you from, preventing you from being there, you should say something. Amen. We are a family. And for us to continue to be a family, then everybody have to push in and do something. A family can't be on one set. You can't depend on the leaders of a church and say we are family. No, we all are members of the family. And if you can't make it for something, you should. We have a church chat. <laughs> That's why we have a church chat. And everybody should be on a church chat. Because we are part of a family. If we have to go forward, we all have to be involved in going forward. Amen? Amen? Some of you might not like it because you were not there. And because I am saying that um, chastising you, you don't like it. But that's okay. No chastening for the time seems to be joyous but grievous. But afterwards, it heals peaceable fruits of righteousness. In a family, if your children decide to walk out and don't say where they're going, you're upset. And when they come home, you caution them. You beat some of them. Some of you beat them. When you go in, say you go in somewhere and you're beating them. And every word you say, you're beating them. A stroke. We don't do that in church. Because everybody big. And everybody think because they're big, they can just go walk out and walk in, walk out and walk in. No, we are family, man. Let's display that family attitude and behavior. Amen? Amen. Let us love one another. For love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God. So if you lack in love, you're not born of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. My job is to remind you, always remind you of the things that are good. If I don't, then I'll be responsible for not. My job is to remind you. Uh, we had a great time on Thursday night with the youth. Amen. We had a great time on Thursday night with the youth. Sooner or later, some of them. We had an awesome worship. We can't miss that out. Those of you who were not there and did not come and support us, we had an awesome worship. That was great. I mean, how many songs? Three, four songs? But that was great, right? Hey, can put your hands together for them. Put your hands together for them. You, you might be surprised. I won't tell you who, was, who led. I won't tell you who led. But our leader did a great job in worship. Our musicians, they were there. And, and, and they played well. Uh, they did not practice. You all practice? No, they didn't practice, but they did a great job. Amen? And we will be doing more of that. We'll be doing more of that. And um, I want you to pray for the young people. And don't only pray for them, but support them. Um, some of you have to bring your young ones. Some of you, you have to send them. Don't keep them home when I... Uh, when we ask to, to meet them, don't keep them home. We want to be able to build relationships. We want to be able to do things with the young people. And if the young people can build relationships, I guarantee you our church will flourish. 
to a church will blossom. Amen. I, I mean, some of some of some of us as older persons, we have attitudes, we have behaviors, but uh, don't let your attitude and your behavior prevent you from sending them to or bring them to 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 meetings when the youth are meeting together. Hallelujah. God is great and He's awesome. This morning, I want to take some time out to just to talk with us this morning on, on the power of God through the Holy Spirit, through Pentecost. I, I want to just, I, I started sharing with us on that last week. And um, those of you online, I know you missed it because we had some technical internet problem. I don't know if the internet dropped or whatever, but um, we had some problems that right after the worship, we just lose internet and we could not continue our service. So church, pray for us and all the supporters. Amen? Amen? Pray for us and always support us. Those of you, those of you who have not been in church for a while, it's good to have you. I know some of you probably have a big offering, so I'm expecting some big offerings from some of you. <laughs> Amen? Because you have not been at church for a while, so if you're working, it means that you can with plenty of money. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. The power of God through the Holy Spirit through Pentecost. The power of God. And um, we we spoke on, we shared from um, Acts chapter 21. And um, it says, uh, when the day of Pentecost, Acts chapter 2, sorry, and verse 1. I said Acts 21. Acts have 21 chapters? <laughs> Acts chapter 2 and verse 1. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all in one accord in one place. And suddenly, and suddenly, Somebody say suddenly. suddenly. And suddenly there came a sound from earth as of a rushing mighty wind. Was that? A sound from heaven? What did I say? And you are the only person that observed that I said earth? So it means that others don't know their scriptures, right? A sound from heaven. You have to be careful, you know, because people can mislead you. It's a sound from heaven, not on earth. And the Bible says that sound from heaven, it was like a rushing mighty wind. And it says that it filled the house where they were sitting. Why would there come a sound from heaven like a rushing mighty wind? Why would there? Why would it fill the house also? Why? These are questions we can ask. Because we need some answers. A sound from heaven, like a rushing mighty wind. It did not say a sound from the east, it did not say a sound from the north. It said, a sound from heaven. Wow. Why would God allow a sound to come from heaven and fill the room where they were sitting? There are many things and many answers and many questions. And, and, and hear this well. For heaven to produce and to release into a house where people are sitting, there must be something of importance. If we are divided, or if they were divided, 
there will not be a mighty rushing wind filling the house where they were sitting. No, there are a lot of times when I will chastise you and I'll tell you things that you should be doing and you might not be happy about it, but it's because we want to be a team that is unit, united. A group of people who are united. A group of people, if one person, uh, their hand, their left hand is hurting them, then, then we can feel the left hand that is hurting you. We, we want to be so united that if, you, if your teeth is hurting you, we, we, we want to know that we are like the brain or the foot that will feel it and will, mm. not so much the foot, but the brain. We want to be connected. And, and, and when we are connected, and, and when you are connected, and, and when the church is connected, then we will experience the sound from heaven like a rushing mighty way. And you might beat me on my head. And you might say, oh, this is not the time. Oh, pastor, oh, pastor again. I will tell you. I will push you to the limit because I want us to be united. I want us to care for one another. I want us to look out for one another and not a team or a few of us looking out for each other. And I always say, you know, if, 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 if we have something that is not the best and, and, and it can be fixed or, or corrected and um, whether, whether I allow it and I leave it like that, we, we, we have to understand that the unity, I want you to understand that, unity not because you might have spoken or looked at it as not correct that you will not flow with it unity will allow you to flow with it and in the process of time things will change are, are you understanding me you see unity is something that we must understand fully and it must be personalized you don't understand that I said, unity must be personalized. Pastor, the church don't have unity. What do you have? What do you have? What do you have as an individual? Personal, brother, you need to understand in order for the church to be united, you must be united. Ah. You're always fighting with yourself. Oh, you're in the church to be united. You can't experience the unity that is flowing in the church if you are fighting with yourself. And if you're fighting with yourself, it means that you'll fight with somebody else. And if you're fighting with somebody else, everybody that will come around you will fight with them. You are disagreeable with everybody. But why the church is not united? And you are disagreeable. You see, I am here this morning to get you to understand that for in order for us to experience what the apostles experienced, we must be together. The church must be united. But sometimes we talk too much about each other. Church, 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 church. But we never look at ourselves as individuals. I am here this morning to look at myself as an individual. And I'm here to encourage you to look at yourself as an individual. Stop complaining and start acting. Hear this. You have heard great words. I've heard great words. Great preachers. And we love to put them on on our, on our, on our YouTube. Put them on. Like Joshua Selman. Great teacher of the word. And, and a lot of us like to listen to Joshua Selman. 
We love to. Oh, he's a great preacher, pastor. He's a great preacher, pastor. I know. What impact does the word have on you? Although he's a great preacher, but what impact can you say within yourself? He is a great preacher. And the reason why I am saying he is a great preacher, it is because I have heard some things that came from him through the word of God. And I went and I practiced it. And today I'm a different person. Can you say that? Can you stand here and say, Pastor, I've heard the word and we've preached. And I'm not the only person preaching because I realize that everybody, not everybody loves to hear me preach. I have no problems with that. <laughs> not everybody loves to hear me preach. I do not have a problem with that. But I'll tell you what. Because we have been showing and trained to use the, the, the different gifts in this church. I am saying to you, there must be a ministry that you are comfortable with and that should help you to grow maybe it's for me alone I know many of you will not grow all of us will not grow together and because I know all of us will not grow together because not many people love and can understand what I'm saying but I'm saying to you there are other ministers that minister here every month and you should if you can't understand it means that you have a problem and you need deliverance. The reason why many of us are not moving from where we are, it is because we have not yet taken time out and do a personal evaluation of our lives. But we want to experience a brushing mighty wind. We want to experience that which we once upon a time experienced. But we cannot no longer experience those things because we have not or we stopped taking a very important thing in our lives which is personal evaluation. I have to look at myself. Me. I. Myself. I have to look at myself and say, where am I? The word has been preached this morning. What can I take out of it to go throughout this week? And to ensure that I implement it in my life. The word has been preached. We have some sticks and put in their cracks. Cracks. They say breaking sticks in your ears. Breaking sticks in your ears means that you're not hearing. Or you might hear, but not practicing. Our problem today is practice. Practice. We come to church and some of us get involved in our own thing. Our little cell phone there. We take our cell phone and we check in our vibes on our YouTube. And, uh, and, and people think it's really the scriptures that you're going through. You know, but it's not the scriptures you're going through. It might be somebody, you might be chatting to one way or the other on your cell phone. And people think it's the scriptures that you're going through. And as soon as you figure somebody watching you, you're swinging kicks back to the Bible, you know, and, and those kinds of things. But that can't fool God. You know, you can fool somebody. You can fool me. You can fool the person close to you. But let me tell you something. You need to have a personal relationship with God. So a lot of times when we tell you something good and you think that people are telling you something bad, it's not, not my problem, you know, it's your problem. So when I stand there and I tell you something good and you decide to do what you want and you figure who you think he is, that's not my problem, it's your problem. I don't make people problem my own until they are willing to do what God wants them to do and then they can go through their problems alone, then I will help them with their problem. But if you fail to listen to me, I don't want to take your problem and make it my own. That's a different pastor, man. I help you. When things are good, we go ahead. And, and, and as long as we are going ahead, and as long as you are listening, when things are good and we're going ahead, and we're fighting that fight, and, and I'm saying to you, things will get bad. If you live a life and things never get bad, it means there's something wrong with your life. 
If you live a life and, and the people closest to you never say something wrong about you or say something bad about you or say something bad to you, then something wrong with you. Amen. You can't live a life and somebody close to you to say something bad. I, I don't like him. He's greedy. He's this. He's that. He's, uh, no. You, 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 you can't live that life and people closest to you don't say anything bad about you. Jesus, Peter denied him. Judas betrayed him. Yeah. I, are you here with me this morning? Amen. Thomas doubted his, his return. These people were close to him. Who you think you are? Where do you think you come from? That people closest to you will not say something bad about you. But they know you. <laughs> and sometimes we say, Pastor, the thing that hit me so much more is the, is the people that are closest to you, the people that, that I expected something different from you. But... That's okay. We need to grow up and understand that if somebody closest to you did not do something bad to you, it means that you have not yet learned anything. I'm preparing somebody for something to come. And when it comes, you must understand that God is in control. And even if your father or your mother or your brother or your sister, they turn their backs on you, you have to understand that it is God who is there. And you should turn your trust and your face towards God and trust in him because he says, trust in the Lord. That's what the scripture says. Trust in the Lord, not with some of your heart, but with all your heart. And it says, do not lean on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him. And he will direct your path. That's what God wants from us. In order for us to experience the flow and the visitation of the Holy Spirit, we need as believers to be united with ourselves first. So the scripture says, they were all in one accord, in one place. And suddenly, a sound from heaven, as of a rushing mighty wind. I want you to Look at the as of. I, I want you to understand. It did not say it was. It says the sound was like a rushing mighty. It did not say it was a rushing mighty. wind. It says as of. So when you hear a rushing mighty wind when the, the wind comes from the east and you, you wonder what is happening and, and sometimes you have all your windows open and, and the wind just fill the place the scripture said it was as of a rushing mighty wind and the scripture says it filled the house where they were sitting hallelujah it was the presence we say can we say can we say that we are experiencing the presence of God when we come to worship I stand at the back and I see people worshiping God quietly God ask you for quiet worship tell me something talk to me somebody Talk to me, somebody. God ask you for quiet worship in church this morning. There are times when we can worship quietly. But when we come together with the people of God, we need to, we need to express ourselves. Forget about the quiet times. You will have your quiet time. You, you, there, there, you always have quiet time anyhow. But you never have that time when you can just uh, express yourself. Come before the presence of 
God and forget who, who is wrong you forget Jack forget Jane forget Harry forget Paul wrong you and express yourself to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords tell him how much you appreciate him not I appreciate him. no 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 Lord I appreciate you Lord I exalt your name Lord I magnify I, your name lord i glory i want you this morning to understand that there are times when we meet together in the house of the lord where we can express ourselves lift up our voices at homes or on the street we can lift our voices and we can shout names and we can say things at the park or wherever we are but in the presence of god we come like we are sanctimonious and can't even open our mouths. It's a different world. God inhabits. And God, when God inhabits our praiser, God not looking for quiet praise. He's looking for an expression. An expression. And the expression must come from the hearts. Are you hearing me this morning? We need to change our style of worship because we want to experience the presence of God like a rushing mighty wind. We want to experience the presence. I want to experience the presence of God. I, I want to be in church and all of a sudden I hear everybody just flowing in the Holy Ghost. Everybody just speaking in tongues and cannot stop speaking in tongues. I want to experience the presence of God where the sick are being healed, the deaf are hearing the lame walk. Let me say something to you this morning. I want to experience the presence of God. But in order for us to experience the presence of God, we all have to look at ourselves individually and say to ourselves, I have to play my part. I have to analyze my life and change my behavior, change my attitude. We have to be one. One. You understand what is oneness? One. We have to flow with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We have to flow with his directions and his instructions. Jesus said to them, stay in Jerusalem. Wait in Jerusalem. He said, wait in Jerusalem. And let me tell you something. All of them, they were not leaders there. And even if all of them were leaders... They had a special person who was leading him. And they were taking instructions from that special person. Peter, stand up. Peter didn't like Christ, we. And he stand up. And he say, hey, people. And he start telling them, telling them, telling them. Because he was the leader. The instructor. The one God chose to hear and to direct. They stand or they waited in the upper room. A hundred and twenty of them. They waited in the upper room. Hallelujah. What were they doing there? And let me tell you something. The waiting was not just there sitting down there and just there waiting. Uh oh, no, it was not just so. The waiting were, while they were waiting, they were praying, praising, and they were custom of doing that. Because when, 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 you, when you read of Peter and, and, and Silas, Peter and John in jail, Paul and Silas, you, you know that it's praise and prayer that was setting them free. You're not hearing me. You, you're, not, you're not understanding me. When you hear of 
Paul and Silas and Peter and John in jail, uh, you know, when, when, when the bands and the, the chains fell out and, and those kinds of things happened and Paul walked out of the prison door, you know it was not just sitting there doing nothing. It was praise and worship. It was prayer that makes the difference. And if we as believers have to experience the presence of God, we must get involved in prayer, in worship, in praise. Good word, Pastor. Good word, Pastor. I want to see you in prayer on Tuesday night. Oh. I want to see you when you stand up in the presence of God. They either lift up your hands and the worship personnel. They go through a lot trying to train, train you. Try, trying to practice. They go through a lot practicing. Something's not working as they want to. They, they are keeping the key as they're supposed to during practice. And they have to ensure during practice that we keep that key. <laughs> keep that key. And when they come on Sunday morning and they say to you to worship God, let me tell you something. If you look in the secular world, in the secular world, even, even in the cricket field or the football field, people do good and better when they hear the crowd is at the back of them. Is that so? Probably some of you never experienced it. Go and play wrong and you hear somebody saying, Go, go, you can make it. Hit them at six. I know you can do it. And they're behind you. You know what you're going to do? You're going to put all into it. Boom. Six. When you listen to the cricketers, like, 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 um, well, today we don't have cricketers that you can depend on today, but when you used to listen to Chris Gale and Brian Lara and those kinds of people there, and you'll say, yeah, go, and you will know you can do it, you know we can do it, and, and then the great Gale will come and cut his tail and one six, two sixes, and, and get the fastest 50, and, and those kinds of things. You know why? Because people were at the back supporting him, saying, you can do it, we know you can do it, we know you will do it, we know you. Listen to me, Brian Lara alone saved West in his third. Win a match. That was in Antigua some years ago. He win a match. He alone. He stayed there. He bats. We've just, well, I say we alone. He had a support. But he bat out. He bat. And he scored the runs. And he brought the team to victory. Brian Lara. You know why? Because he had the support of the people saying you can do it. You will make it. Go ahead. You will make it. You could imagine our worship personnel stand up there and they, and they were leading worship and they trained their best and we're just there. Ah. They if they stop people of the system, they can't even hear you. Because every one of us depended on them to do it. To do it. Are you hearing me this morning? Are you understanding what I'm saying to you this morning? In order for us to experience the rush, the song, that, the, 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 what that song like the rush from heaven, in order for us to experience the presence of God, we must be together as one. We must worship God together. Some of us, we have loud voices, you know. Loud voices. <laughs> Some of us, we can shout, we can scream. Don't worry, you know. When we meet people, we quiet like a lamb. Let them get to know you for two, three days, come home. Uh, sometimes they can just come at home without you even knowing, and they'll hear you shouting. They'll hear you screaming. Hey, hey. You know, some years ago, I, I saw somebody, and um, the person didn't see me, and I, and I know the person's a quiet person, and I, all of a sudden I heard the person loud. I said, hey, that person can be loud, man. You know, I was surprised. I was taken back. I said, hey, that person can be loud, man. You know, and, and I realized that, you know, a lot of times among people we are quiet, but indeed when we meet our friends or we meet our loved ones, or we meet somebody that is accustomed with us, we can be very loud. And let me say something to you. When you meet your friends, when you meet your loved ones, when you meet somebody or some people you are accustomed with, and you are loud, let me tell you something, you should be accustomed with God now. 
You should be accustomed with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So when you come to worship Him, you should not let anybody prevent you from worshiping Him. You should express yourself in His presence because the Bible says in His presence there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. And there appear unto them cloven tongues like as of fire. I love that. I'm going to close up. Some of you are ready to go. I can let you go early today. Ooh, yeah. I still have a lot of time to preach. But here it is. Cloven tongues like as of fire. You know, people, a lot of people experience when, when there is worship in the church and, and when people are experiencing the presence of God that a lot of times they say uh, some person saw fire on the roof fire on the building and um, in, in a lot of churches some people might not I've never experienced it but I've heard of it where when the church is filled with the presence of God people see fire and fire cloven tongues as like of fire If, if you take metal and, and, and you, you, you drag that metal, you can get fire out of it. If you take stone and you drag it on stone, you can also get fire out of it. Are you understanding me? You understand that, right? If you rub two stones together, you can get fire out of them. If you as a child of God get in the presence of God forgetting everything around you focusing on the king of kings. You know, the problem with us is that we do not allow our minds to live off. To leave the world. To leave the things around us. We do not allow our minds to leave what we are doing. And let me tell you something. You can be playing the keyboard and forget you even playing the keyboard. And you so get, you get hooked up with God and the presence of God. That people looking at you from where they are sitting and they see fire on your head. You, you know, in some, in some um, Roman Catholic drawings or pictures, they used to put the saints, they used to put the little wrong thing above their head. You remember that, right? They still have that, now. They still have it. So, so that wrong thing represents something, you know. It represents the spirit or fire, whatever it represents. But we do not want to be in a, on, a, on a card or a plaque to have a wrong thing above our heads. We want to be in the presence of God, not to have a wrong thing, but to have fire. Are you, Brother Dami, are you understanding me? We want to be in the presence of God and have fire over us. When someone look at us, from an angle and they look at you, they want to see fire above you. You know, and the only way you can experience that, as I said, stone rubbing on a stone, iron rubbing on iron or concrete, not iron or concrete, you get that more. Then you can get that fire if you get involved in worship to God. And I'm not talking about just worship. I am talking about pure worship. I am talking about forgetting the things that concerns you and focusing and setting your mind on God. You know what happens? Let me, just, let me share something with you. A lot of people will call them to the altar. And as soon as they reach the altar, 
Some people know that some people are falling. So they come to the altar and they do that. It's time to pray for and they do that. They stand up like that. They say, Pastor, pray for me. Or they stand up like that. Pastor, pray for me. So the pastor come and he lay hands on them. And they're not focusing on what is happening or what that should happen for them. They're focusing on, you're not throwing me down to there. Are, are you understanding me? You're not focused, you're not throwing me down to there, boss. Mm -mm. And, I, and I pray in and somebody else pray in and in the name of Jesus, I cast you out. I command every spirit to leave your home. And, and you just there, mm, pastor, if you think so. And you're feeling like you want to go back, but you say, mm -mm, not today, no, pastor. Mm -mm. The pastor not pushing you, you know. But the presence of God wants to work on your behalf. But you say, not today. Uh -uh. And you anchored on that foot, they're well steady. You can push that foot, it can go back like that, but that foot is there. And God is saying, I want to be able to put you on the table that I can work in you. I can operate. When people fall, it's not because people want people to fall, you know. It is God wants to do something in you. So he put you flat as a method of humbleness so he can work in you and on your behalf. But when you resist that, you are preventing saying, God, not today. You're not working on me today. But you come to the altar, but God, you're not working on me today. That's what you're saying to him. But you want him to do everything for you. And you stand up. Some people are living longer at their homes, furthermore in church. We don't even spend time, a lot of times, we don't spend time prostrate before God. Crying before him. Showing that level of humbleness that we can experience the rush like a rushing mighty wind. We can't experience those things. Some of us, we wish we could, be, we could speak in tongues in the baptism of the Holy Ghost. But we have not yet placed, placed ourselves in the position to receive it. We are still in the flesh. I am speaking to you this morning so you can go home. As you go in home, you think of the sermon this morning and let the word of God work in you. Not me. I don't work in you. I don't do work in you. I'm not a doctor. I don't do work in you. But let the spirit of God work in you and on your behalf. Let the spirit of God break, remove things that need to be removed. You see, because we have been so filled with negativity. We have been so filled with all things from even our parents. And, and today God is saying to you, I want to change you. I want to make you. I want to break you. I want to mold you. I want to fashion you. Not for your purpose. Not for what you want. But for my purpose. That's what God is saying. But if we are humble enough, we can go before God and say, God, look me. Break me. Mold me. Fashion me. God, I am not saying that because pastor asked me to say it. I am saying that because I want you to break, mold, and fashion me. And God is saying to you, the first breaking and molding, Go to that brother over there and tell him sorry. What? God, you took You just asked me to break you, mold you, fashion you. Let us start. Go to the brother. Remember you said to him something yesterday that he's hurting him right now. Go to him and tell him you are sorry. And here they say, when you have to apologize to somebody, I'm going to tell you something. The longer you fight with it, the harder it becomes. Those of you who have experienced it, you should be able to say yes or no. When you have to apologize to somebody, you know from your heart, I should apologize to him. The more you fight with it, the harder it becomes. So if something tells you, and that something might as well be the Spirit of God telling you, go to, uh, telling you, CJ, go to Tabif and tell her sorry. Don't waste time. Run to Tabitha. Tabitha, I did something to you yesterday. I'm sorry. 
You know how much you ease up yourself? From a battle? Sometimes we refer to tell people, sorry, I, who do you think you are now? So, who she thinks she is now? He doesn't mean well come to church. No, he comes to church when he wants, when his mind tells him. I go and tell him, say, what's going to me alone here? Yeah? You're fighting with your own self. And as well might be the spirit of God telling you to apologize. And you're fighting with it. That's why I tell you early on, if we cannot be united with ourselves, we will not be able to be united with each other. It was Paul, the Spirit of God. Jesus said, hey, it is hard to kick against the prick. <laughs> you cannot kick against the prick and win. There, there is this animal I was looking at. Sometimes I like to look at them. Where, where the, the, the king of the jungle, which is the lion, and the tiger, they usually go for their prey. And let me tell you something. Those animals are not easy, you know, man. When, I mean, they're as not as dangerous as the eagle, but when they decide they're going for their prey, they go for it. And, and I don't know the name of that animal, but an animal that um, it just, it just, um, it, it's fur or whatever it has, it just uh, open it and it comes prickles. A what? Porcupine. So, so when the uh, tiger think that I have a prey, the tiger take off after it and jump on it, and it just, mm, and all you see is just penetrating the, uh, the tiger. I say, wow, everything has its defense. And as bad and as dangerous as the tiger is or the lion is, they cannot do what they want with it. You hate me. So we as believers must understand that we have a protector. We have to focus on our God. We have to put ourselves in the position for God to use us. And the devil will come. When the devil comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will raise a standard. But we must put ourselves in the position for God to work in us. Stop looking at others. Stop saying how good that sister is doing. You can do good too. Huh? You can do better too. I have a lot to share with you. I haven't touched nothing there as yet. I'm only still on that verse. But let's, let's just continue the verse. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues as like a fire. And it sat upon each of them. And it sat upon each of them. We're going to close there. That's my second time I see in closing. But it's all right. And it sat upon each of them. I need to understand that a little more. I, I need to say it again. And it sat upon each of them. And it sat upon each of them. Are you understanding that? Cloven tongues as like a fire and it sat upon each of them. So it means that each of them were in the position to receive. Is that what the scripture is saying? So, so, so the scripture is saying to me that I should put myself in a position to receive. But how can I put myself in a position to receive and I am not united with myself? Ah. 
So I need in order for, for, for the Holy Spirit to, 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 to come upon me, I need to put myself in a position to receive. If there is a line of people and I'm giving money, hundreds of dollars, and you're not in a position to receive, you won't get. Isn't that so? And, and, and let me tell you something. I, I can remember some years ago, years ago, cuts used to have sale. And they said, oh, open doors. So when you open and they open, um, people would just rush in for sale. I can remember going there once. I said, let me see what it's like. So I went there early, like everybody else. I was not even married as yet, so you can imagine. I, I was living in town. And um, Sister Avril, when the guy came to open the door, he could not even open the door because people are already on the door and, and they want to be the first person to enter. And I'm saying, oh my God, that's why some people just get hurt and people just even die on those kinds of rush thing. And, uh, and, and as soon as the guy opened the door, I just see people just, Whoa! I say, wow, you know, <laughs> it's just amazing. I, I never forget that. And the thing about it, when they reach inside there, they're just walking around the place. <laughs> you know, they don't know where to start, you know? So, so, so everybody wants to rush in. When we have to receive the Holy Ghost, we should rush for it. I want it. If you stay back, you might never get it. If you never organize and prepare yourself, you will never get it. You should be, God, I want it. I can remember, I can remember when I wanted the baptism of the Holy Ghost, when I wanted to be filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. I can remember what happened to me. I know I can tell you, I can't tell you the year, and I have an idea what the year was in the early 80s. You know, I, I can remember, I think it's the same, the same week or so, Pat Martin died in England. I received the baptism of the Holy Ghost with the initial evidence of speaking in tongues, and I'm telling you, the experience was superb. It was an exciting time. And um, I never stop. Sometimes I feel I need to do it more than ever before. Like Paul says, I pray in tongues more than you all. But I don't want to be saying I pray in tongues more than you all. I want all of us to pray in tongues. And pray in tongues a lot. And often. And every day. And every hour. And every minute, if you have to pray in tongues, every minute, pray in tongues. Praying in tongues is not bringing a message to somebody. It's different from, from bringing a message to somebody. If you have to bring a message to somebody, you know that you must have an interpreter. But when you're praying to God, it's not my business what you're telling God. You are praying to God. You are speaking to God. You and God. Feel, listen, believers, the Bible says that they, 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 they sat and it sat, sorry, not they, but it sat upon each of them because they put themselves in the position to receive. Are you in a position to receive this morning? Are you in the position to receive the presence of God? Are you in the position to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the initial evidence of speaking in tongues? Are you in the position to receive that which God has in store for us? Are you in the position to say, fill me, Lord. Fill me, Lord. I'm not waiting for somebody else to say, no, Lord. He or she leaks. If you are not in the position, I want to encourage you. I can pray with you. But praying with you will only create the atmosphere for you to do what you have to do. But you must do something about it. And, and I want you to understand that. Prayer changes things, yes. Prayer changes things. But prayer in itself is powerless if you do not put what that is prayed for into action. You see, Prayer, as I said, 
It is all about creating the atmosphere for the word of God to work. And, 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 and you, can, you can stay there and I can pray for you every day, but you never put yourself in a position to do what God says that you should do. It will be useless, fruitless. So it all boils right back down to us. I hear the word. What am I going to do with the word? Am I going to just hear the word and sit back there and say, well, good, good word, pastor, good word, pastor, good word, pastor, but never act upon the word? Or am I going out there and start acting upon the word that I heard this morning? Because I want to receive the presence of God like a rushing mighty wind. I want it to fall upon me. I want to sit upon me like fire. I want to be able to burn and not only should not only I want it I want to burn but I want to be able when I touch somebody else they will feel the heat and they will burn too. It's like fish pine. You catch a fish pine, you put it close to another piece of fish pine and it catch. You put it close to a piece of cardboard and it catch. You put it close to a piece of cloth and it catch. You put it close to a piece of coal and a catch. Feel me, Lord. Feel me, Lord. Let's all stand this morning. That's a sign that I'm feeling I'm for, right? Feel me, Lord. Lift your hands with me this morning and say, Father, feel me, Lord. Father, touch me, Lord. Touch me, Lord. Holy God, minister, minister. Touch me, Holy Father. Oh, Lift your hands to him this morning and say, Father, I have heard your word. I, I'm asking that your word break through me. I'm asking that your word transform me. I'm asking that your word make me different. In the name of Jesus, this week I'm going out there to show and to prove to the devil and to the world that I'm different. I have heard the word and the word is going to work in me. Hallelujah. 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 Ask God to minister in your life this morning. Ask him to minister. Let his word saturate you. Let his word break through for you in the name of Jesus. We thank you for Father, we thank you, mighty God. Make us more. Make me like you, oh God. Make me like you. Fill me. Fill me with the Holy Ghost. But before I can be filled, Lord God, I need to make my mission sure that I put myself together. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mighty warrior. Hallelujah. 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 I can shout unto the Lord with a voice of triumph. I can shout unto him with a voice of praise. I can lift my hands unto the King of Kings and say thank you Lord. Somebody you need to say thank you. You need to shout thank you. Shout thank you. Thank you, Lord, for breaking, for, for making me, Lord, more like you. Thank you, Father, for molding me. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We give you thanks. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Let your word saturate us, Lord. Yeh koko rabaka sandaraboya, shara rabaka sandarama. Somebody lift your hands and praise the Lord with me this morning. Somebody lift your hands and say thank you, Jesus. Somebody lift your hands and say, Lord, I bless you. Lord, I appreciate you. Lord, I worship you. Great is our God, and greatly He is to be praised in the city of our God. In in the mountains of his holiness we exalt you oh god we exalt you oh god we magnify you lord hallelujah 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 thank you jesus ah bless the lord bless the lord 
Oh, my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who healeth all our diseases, who cry for life from destruction, who loveth us with loving kindness and tender mercies. Our youth is being renewed every day like the eagle. Oh, God, thank you for renewing our youth that we can worship you freely without restriction, that we can exalt your neighbor that we can magnify you oh God oh Lord our God how excellent is your name in all the earth oh Lord our God how great you are we bless you this morning we bless you this afternoon we bless you today oh God we exalt you Jesus Lamb of God Lamb of God Lamb of God Lamb of God, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Oh, God, create the atmosphere in the lives of your people that they, oh, God, will see the need, oh God, to examine themselves, to search themselves, and to walk according to your word, and to walk according to your precepts, and to walk according to your laws. Oh God, let us examine ourselves. Let us, oh God, serve you. Let us call upon you. Let us worship you, and worship you in spirit and in truth, because it was Jesus who said, the hour cometh, and now is when the true worship shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. We thank you this day, O oh God, for ministering our lives. We thank you this day, Father, for transforming us. We thank you this day, Father, for making us more like you. Make me more like you, Lord. Give me a heart that is filled with love. Give me a heart that is filled with compassion. Give me a heart that is filled with peace. And make me, Lord, make me, my Lord, make me, make me, make me, make me more like you. I will love my neighbor. I will pray for my neighbor. I will love myself. I will pray for myself. I will work upon the weaknesses that have been that have been bounded for so many years. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Minister to us today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. For it is not by might, it is not by power, but it's by the Spirit of our living God. We bless you this morning, Lord. We bless you this morning. We bless you, Father. We bless you, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we bless you. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, mighty God. Thank you for your word that will create, oh God. Father, create your word that will, oh God, create the thing in us to worship you. The word that will create the transformation, the transformation in our lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your word. Oh, Robo Koko Satata Tata Rabashi Tarba. Oh, Kureba Satata Rabashi Tudaba. Destroy everything that needs to be destroyed in our lives. Remove everything that needs to be removed in our lives. Oh God, set us on fire, Lord. Set us on fire. Ask Him to set you on fire. Ask Him to set you on fire. Ask Him to set you on fire. When you go home, you're going to continue worshiping God. When you go home, you're going to continue praising God. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed to praise God. Don't be afraid to lift your hands and to say, Thank you, Father. Don't be afraid to fight that good fight of faith for worship, for praise. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, mighty Father. We worship you, everlasting God. We exalt your name. We glorify you because you are God. Fill us, Lord. Our worship to Him, our worship to Him should not be stagnant. Our worship to Him 
we should not kill it. No. But we should express ourselves in his presence for worship, for praise, for adoration. Be blessed, you Lord. We bless you, Holy Father. We worship you, mighty God. There is none like you, God. There is none like you. In the name of Jesus. You are in here before I leave. I'm going to give you the opportunity. You say, Pastor, I've heard the word. But I need you to pray for me. I need you to pray with me. I, I, I want, I have been, I have been lapsing. I have been, I mean, not looking at myself all through. But I've been focusing on others. I've been focusing on others and how they live and, and how they behave. But after hearing the word, I realized that in order for me to receive from God, I need to look at myself. I need to focus on myself, but I need the strength. I, I, I need the encouragement. I need, I need the zeal. I need, to, I, I need the power to do so. Pastor, I, I want you to pray for me. I want, you, I want you to pray for me. If you're like that, don't be afraid to lift your hands. And, and let's do it fast. If you want me to pray with you, lift your hands. I will pray with you in the name of Jesus. If you want me to pray with you because you need the strength. You, you have looked at others so much that you have never taken time out and look at yourself and examine yourself and ask God to break mold, fashion you, and act upon the word. Not just asking him to break mold and fashion you, but acting upon the word of God. You were saying, Pastor, pray for me. I want prayers. Let me say, prayer will create the atmosphere for the word of God to work. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If there is none, God bless you. Father, we thank you. In the name of Jesus, we worship and we adore you. We give you praise. Those of you online, I pray that God will strengthen you. I pray that God will open the door. I pray that God will look and vindicate your cause. In the name of Jesus, I pray that God will come among you and he will dwell and he will change everything in your life that you ask him to change in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you. We bless you this morning. Lift your hands with me, church, and bless him, bless him, bless him. We bless you, Holy God. We bless you, Mighty Father. Great is our God and greatly he is to be praised. While your hands are lifted, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I thank you for every believer here today and those online. I thank you, Father, for your blessings upon them. We come against every false spirit, every demonic activity, every satanic behavior in the name of Jesus. We destroy them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And Father, I release your people, O oh God, as they go through this week, Father, to practice your word. As we go through this week, Father, we will not just, O oh God, go Oh God, without something, but we will go with your word, teaching us, Father, how that we as individuals should first examine ourselves. And when we examine ourselves, we will create that atmosphere for the Holy Spirit to come in and fill us and empower us in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father, for destroying yokes barriers, mountains being removed in the name of Jesus. And we, Father, being place in a position to exalt your name, to magnify your name, to glorify your name. I pray your blessings upon your people as we go today. May you, oh God, we, Father, walk in victory. May we walk in your protection, Father. Those, oh God, who were supposed to be first this morning, but are not, Lord God. Those who are online, Father, listening to us, Father, we pray, oh God, that you will minister, Father. We thank you for transformation. We thank you, Father, for standing behind your word in our lives, oh God, in our family lives, in the name of Jesus, because you promise us protection through your word. And I thank you, Father, even those, oh God, who are sick, Lord, I pray for your healing virtue to flow through them. Those, oh God, who lost their loved ones, Lord, God Almighty, I thank you for strengthening the brother, oh God, of the, of the, of the, of the, of the, of the the church, Lord God, the Baptist church, Lord God, and we pray, God, for the Antoines, Lord God. We pray for, 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 for your protection, Lord God. We pray that you will comfort them as they lost, oh God, their son, Father. Give them the comfort that is needed, oh 
God in their lives in the name of Jesus. Give them that peace that passeth all understanding let it flow through them father those oh god who are sick with the flu my friend sister alex lord god touch her body in the name of jesus let her be completely behold in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit sister rosalie lord god touch her body and anyone else lord god who is sick we pray for total healing in the name of jesus we thank you father Take control, Father, to those who are out there, Lord God, sis, Sister Ruby and all the others, oh God, who have traveled and are out of, oh God, from us, Lord God. We thank you that you will continue, oh God, to protect them because your word declares it, Father. We give you thanks. Uh, we give you praise, Holy Father. Take full control, we ask, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Bless everyone lord god those online and those in here today in jesus name and the people of god say together amen and amen god bless you god bless you have a blessed day amen praise god